this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be um very very wonderful because it is um your birthday month. So the month of May is going to be opening with um the energy vibration of your own energy, which is the energy of the heart for the two first two and a half first weeks. And this is going to be extremely, extremely positive. Okay, so um, whatever is the situation that is occurring, whatever is transpiring, it's going to be um, a fabulous, fabulous month for you. Okay, um, this month, and you know, you guys are so blessed because the energy of the Empress is coming in for you guys. It's really, really, really. A blessed month that the energy of the Empress is coming in and this is the month of the Empress so it's an earth energy and you guys have the energy of the star so the energy of the star is going to be and um, for the people who are having birthday in the month of May you Tauruses it's going to be so fabulous it's going to be fantastic because your dreams and wishes are going to be coming out and this is going to be good this is going to be extremely positive because I see a lot of solutions that are here with um, um, situation that at work and at home a lot of you are going to be um, buying and uh, receiving a new house um, the keys to a new house or um, yes it is a new house if you were planning on buying a new house um, and looking for financial support with a new house um, there's a lot of success that is coming in at work for um, a lot of you so this is um, actually going to be a very positive month for you Tauruses so let's change up the readings um, because changes is good and because I want to thank someone out there who is a Taurus you know who you are thank you so so much for that donation um, that donation uh, have been used to um, um, buy this new deck, the Fountain Taurus. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are aware of who you are. So um, this, your donation was so gratefully accepted to, um, as you have asked me to keep the free readings going. Um, this is the wonderful card deck that we um, we had to use. Um, your donation to um, buy and um, we have three other card decks but um, there is going to be a special message coming up for that so you will see all of them so this card deck is a new deck it's the fountain tower deck and it is positive because it is from you Tauruses and all my subscribers all you Tauruses I'm so grateful for your help support and guidance and all the this and this is wonderful thank you so very much um, as we look forward and we go forward we are seeing that a certain situation that has transpired okay so there are certain situation that has transpired and here we are going to look at the month in details in the first week, um, you Taurus are seeing a situation very, very clearly because you have the energy of the Two of Swords in the reverse form, which um, in this deck, it is as if now you are seeing a situation for what it is, okay? Whatever the situation is, whatever that is um, um, transpired, you're, you're now seeing the situation. And with discipline, you are going to be um, dealing with this situation differently um, whatever that has happened and whatever that has transpired in your life with the the sense of discipline you're going to be able to release yourself from whatever the situation is here and understanding how um, you can move forward with, with this situation okay then in um, the second week and um, you know moving from out of the first week to the second week what we're seeing here is discipline um the four of cups okay the four of cups is you sitting down thinking your way forward and making plans and having discipline to um, keep them moving okay then we have the energy of um 
Then we have the energy of the, the second week. The second week is heartbreak and whatever the loss was, whatever the heartbreak was, it's now in the reverse form because there's an illness coming in because you're seeing the situation for what it was. So um, as we look with discipline and with self-confidence and that sort of a thing, you're going to be able to move away and move out of uh, a sort of a, a negative um, situation that has been transpiring and it can have to do with a house situation so let's say um, may you're thinking about leaving a negative situation people and situation behind you because of some dishonesty it could be with a house situation or it could be people in your house or people or going in your house whatever the situation is is there a dishonest situation that is transpiring and you're going to be deciding to leave that behind in the second week as we move into the third week um we have the energy of the four of a sword so this is another positive energy because in the third week which is the ending of your zodiac birthday they're saying rest rest before you begin the year 2018 they're saying to you in the third week rest because as you look the number two there's a sense of duality that is going to be taking place which is going to be a sense of you trying to understand and you seeing clearly what exactly has transpired you're seeing that people have been uh, so dishonest so disagreeable and you are, are basically trying to make a situation better and you're seeing um the truth about what was transpiring it's as if things were being hidden it's as if people were lying and hiding things and you know sometimes I see that and I and I understand that some people are not aware of certain things they have no idea about certain things because their truth because they think that their truth is always the truth but if you're not aware of certain situation and what has transpired in someone else's life then you are not able to you know give information about someone else that you are not aware of okay um, only people know their stories and this is what I've always said to people um, you are the one everyone has a story and you are the only one who um, know what your story is and what your storyline is okay because each and every person and that's it a lot of people will gang up on other people and lie about other people without knowing their um, their situation and what has transpired and this is why whenever people I don't gossip I hate gossiping uh, if I have a situation and I have to deal with it I'm gonna tell people uh, how um, my point of view my point of view doesn't have to be the right point of view but I'm not going to sit and gossip about other people when you don't really know the truth of a situation I always go and find out the truth of a situation if someone is going to come to me and tell me oh this and this and this and this I'm going to think um, if you are coming to me to tell me the situation um, you will go to someone else but there are people who just make up situation because um, they, they're just used to just not speaking the truth sometimes some people are not aware of certain situation and it's building a story around something that they're actually not um, aware of so this is what is playing um, so clarity is going to be coming information um, and a message is going to be coming um, um, and um, clarity is going to be coming about a situation okay as we move forward and we look at the fourth week we have the six of one so um, positive news is on the horizon for um, a lot of you guys and if you're having a house situation if you were thinking about buying a house um, you know finding a new place to live and um, it's going to be happening for you there's going to be a solution for that situation if some of you were fighting a conflicts with a house or whatever there is going to be a solution that is coming out okay so for the people who have been dishonestly um, you know something was sold to you that um, is not of value as they said it was um, you are going to find a solution a solution is going to be coming out for this so 
Um, expect new outs for a lot of people expect a lot of success at work also for a lot of people in the first two weeks of the month as we look at the last week um, it's as if in the fifth week some of you are just finding your energy you are completely connected with yourself and you're completely feeling good um, with yourself okay um, your best week is um, is basically going to be the two last weeks why it's because whatever loss that has transpired in the past whatever situation that you're coming out of 2017 and before you are going to be realizing how positive it is that you finally end in the situation and moving forward and there is hope there is hope and with a hope that is coming for you it's going to be positive because you'll be working together with others to um, release yourself of whatever the negative situation was in your life and now a positive new beginning for 2018 is going to be coming um, positive so um, so the May for you guys is actually a healing month okay you some of you have the energy of loneliness and sometimes it's good to be alone so you can connect with yourself and your guides and angel sometimes too much of people outside influence can destroy you from connecting with yourself and trying to understand the situation because whenever you realize that people are not being very honest then you need to um, take yourself from a situation and and, and, and and go within to and ask your angels and guides to show you the truth of a situation okay so loneliness is actually sometimes very good so if some of you are feeling lonely in this month not to worry in the beginning of the month or you know whenever this loneliness will come up not to worry because um, it's a good time to connect with your angels and your guides um, for the people in a um, relationship or for the people who are single there's a new relationship that is coming in positive new relation that will be coming in for you guys so that is going to be um, good this relationship that is coming in um, someone may be asking your aunts in marriage um, that could be a situation that is coming up um for the um the, the the single people when i said ask um what i would ask you to move in with them um they want to give you um a key to their heart and this is really um when someone is really really in love with you that they basically gives you the key um to connect with them on a higher level and this is um this is extremely good for the people who are in relationship or marriage there is going to be a message that is going to be coming in this message can be that someone of the past wants to reconnect it could be an ex-partner an ex-lover or an ex um husband or wife but there is a message that coming in is that message going to be positive um yes it's going to be positive in some sense and it depends on how because it could be a sorry that is coming in or it could be that you know i have seen where i've gone wrong in you know in the past and i really want to make amends so um that could be what is coming in okay And that message could be coming from a Virgo. So some of you could be receiving a message from a Virgo, an ex-partner, ex-lover, and they want to make amends. They really want to make amends with a situation. And 
um, they want to say sorry to something that they have done uh, and you know it is up to you whether or not you want to make this amends um, uh, sometimes it's, it's better to just make the amends and let it go okay as we look at the Sun sign people and the planet of Pluto you are going to be dealing with the um, Pluto the planet of Pluto and that is going to be releasing you of something and it could be on um, the planet of Pluto is releasing you of an um, a, um, an Aquarian person this could be an Aquarian person who is in your house it could be someone who you are married to um, but they could be coming out of your life okay um, as we look at the moon people you're going to be have to be dealing with the Virgos and this is a situation because this is what they're coming in to you know ask for forgiveness for a situation that has happened in the past okay and I think that we should always open up ourselves and you know um, give the energy of forgiveness and understanding towards whatever that has transpired okay um, but some people will receive a message and this is um, seeing the truth to a situation um, in the third week and whatever the situation is is that you are going to be victorious and successful with the situation okay um, number two is going to be working a real duality in a lot of it. number two number four is going to be working duality in a lot of people people's life but it's it is actually a positive month because um, the universal angels and guides are watching over you and they are saying have forgiveness but yet still um, have faith um, that whatever your wishes and dreams are they're going to be coming out okay so have some faith so for a lot of people who had um, a situation with housing situation and that sort of a thing it's going to be okay not to worry um, a lot of you are going to be um, seeing um, whatever lies and whatever that was being told um, is as if you're going to receive information about this and um, um, whatever the situation was of that sort of a thing because you're here you're seeing a huge victory and success your outcomes to this month is that for some people your wishes what you were wishing for and hoping for is um, the universal angels are going to orchestrate this um, and, and you know helping you to begin the year 2018 for you Tauruses um, that is born in the month of May uh, for a good start your outcomes um, in this month is going to be a huge victory and success um, looking at you know the months whatever the loss is whatever the heartbreak was let it go and ask for forgiveness for those people okay good news about a house situation good news about work is going to be coming out if you have a situation to resolve with a house situation that is going to be resolved um, positive energies and positive situation are in this week remember your numbers are two four and uh, two and four okay these uh, are very significant numbers that you should use in this week and I want to say namaste until next month uh, please remember to like shares and thumbs up um, these videos listen to your sun moon and rising sign also